welcome back to another episode of Mimi's Keto Kitchen. I'm Tammy, welcome to my kitchen. Today, we are going to be making um, the Philly cheesesteak sandwich. We're not using bread, we're using peppers. So we're going to actually stuff the peppers. Look at these beautiful things. I love shopping at Meyer. I'm sure that you have a favorite store that is close by you as well, but for me, it's Meyer. Um, actually, all these ingredients are from Meyer and I'm just ready to get started and uh, show you how tasty and how fast and easy this is. Uh, first off though, I wanna give a shout out. Do you guys like my um, new apron? It says Mimi's Keto Kitchen. My daughter Courtney made that for me. Obviously she thought the one that I was wearing, which was my husband's, was a little bit cheesy, so it was time to go. So it's official now. I, um, First off, I just had these ingredients sitting here so you could all um, see how delicious they are, but I'm gonna move them to the side. I've already chopped up my onion. Um, typically, I would use a sweet onion for this. Unfortunately, um, I thought I had all my ingredients. I do this all the time. And so then I um, noticed that I didn't have a sweet onion in my refrigerator. What I ended up doing was, being I didn't have a sweet onion, I luckily did have a red onion and um, it's still gonna give me the same taste. It's gonna cook just the same. Um, obviously, it's gonna have a little bit different color, but that's okay, it is what it is. So yeah, we're just going to cut these in half, um, pop out the seed sections, and um, then we're gonna get cooking. So to start with, I have two tablespoons of butter that I'm going to melt. I have my pan warming up and I have two tablespoons of butter. I'm just gonna plop that right in there. And man, I love these. They have a little lock on them so that they stay closed if you want them to, but it's just easy, you just pop it and there you go. These are gonna be great to grab those mushrooms and onions and just spread them around in there. So I'm just going to melt this. I'm gonna add a little bit of minced garlic. Um, I like Penzi's. You can shop online or sometimes they have quite a few local stores, but I'm just gonna add about two tablespoons of minced garlic. This way I don't have to keep it um, fresh in the house. I just, this is literally freeze dried. So it's just the same as fresh in my mind anyway. So yeah, I'm just going to soften up that garlic a little bit. So I'm just gonna put my onion in there now. Oh, that smells delicious already. So one thing you'll notice is that um, onions and mushrooms take about the same amount of time to cook. So go ahead, once you have the um, onions just nicely coated with the butter. Go ahead and plop in your mushrooms. I have um, six ounces of mushrooms and I'm just gonna go ahead and plop those in. But we're just gonna let that cook down. I've just been craving that gooey, yummy, warm feeling that you get from a Philadelphia steak sandwich, like one of those hot ones, you know, where it's just like, oh, that pretzel bun. <laughs> I just can't go there though because, um, yeah, I just feel terrible when I eat that way. So I'm using pepper, green pepper, for my bread today. I'm just going to add some salt and pepper. Love, love, love these automatic grinders. Oh, this is smelling so good, guys. Yes, yeah, so you're just gonna wanna keep moving it around. And I have my pan out. I'm just gonna go ahead and line my green peppers up. Oh my goodness, this is smelling so delicious. Okay, we're gonna keep letting that cook down. I have 
a slices of provolone cheese. You could also use Swiss cheese. Um, I'm just not the fan of Swiss cheese that I am provolone, so I'm using provolone. You're gonna line each half a pepper with a slice of provolone. Voila, cook these down a little bit more. You just want your um, onions to have a translucent kind of look to them. So I went ahead, I actually got London broil for my beef. Um, it's pre-cooked. It was in my deli section at Meyer. Um, it's not the cheapest, but you just, it's just delicious. And it's just going to really make this dish. So being this is almost done, I only have maybe another minute at the most before the onions and mushrooms are where I want them. I'm going to put eight ounces of beef in here and just let those pieces come right apart. If you don't use your hands when you cook, I'm not sure you're a real cook. So go ahead, use your hands, you have my permission. Okay, just let that cook a little bit. Yum, yum. Oh, look at that. That beef just, this is gonna be delicious. Just trying to like get those pieces separated. Okay, I'm gonna turn the heat off. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to slide my pan close. And we're just going to load up these peppers. It doesn't take much to fill up a pepper. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to... Leave out some of the onion. Definitely not going to miss any of that beef. No way, no how. That stuff is where it's at. Okay, they're starting to tip over on me, so I'm gonna have to get my fingers involved. So now, you just take another slice of provolone and just cover it just like that so here are my philly cheese steaks and they're stuffed inside of a pepper i'm going to put them in the oven 350 degrees for it's going to take between 20 and 30 minutes and what i want to achieve is i want to soften that green pepper and I want to get the cheese nice and bubbly with a little bit of browning on top. My house smells delicious. I'm going to go ahead and grab these out of the oven. Do you hear that bubbly sound? They look delicious. Oh, you guys just have no idea how much I want to share my delicious creations with you. Ah, there's nothing better than having friends at the table with you. I've been keto long enough that I really haven't been keeping track of my macros and <laughs> obviously I should. While they were in the oven baking, I looked up the nutritional value of each ingredient that I put in. Ah, uh, I feel kind of sad <laughs> because I really wanted um, two of these today, but I'm going to have to just put one away for tomorrow because uh, for me, it might not be for you, you might be okay with this, but for me, I really try to keep my total carbs at 10 grams. Um, you know, and as I was cooking, I was thinking, wow, you know, I have the green peppers and I have the mushrooms and I have the onions. And even in my head, I started thinking, this is kind of adding up and it sure does. So actually, um, 
one half of a green pepper with all the ingredients that I have in it has nine grams of carbs. So it's not, it's still considered low carb, especially if you're used to eating breads and things. I mean, you're doing way better with this, but for me and uh, the journey that I'm on, it's just too much. So um, even though I really probably have enough appetite for both of these halves, I'm only going to do one half today for my dinner. And if I'm hungry, I'll find some other protein somewhere. But um, on a good note, the uh, total protein for one half a stuffed green pepper is 32 grams of protein, so that was really good. And then the total calories, 450 calories per one half of stuffed green pepper. So um, I wanna talk to you a little bit about the mushroom choice because that does make a difference. The bella mushrooms are actually full of um, nutrients, vitamins, minerals, and protein. Yes, they have carbs in them, but every mushroom is going to. So why not go for the beefier one, the one that's going to give you more nutritional value for your bang? So definitely look for bella mushrooms. Um, and then maybe just keep your onion count down because onions are pretty carby that can really kind of push you over that carb scale. I, I just feel so much better when I know that my body is running on ketones. And so for me, I absolutely could only eat half of these. I think before in the past I was fooling myself. So it's, it just um, goes to show you that even once you're into the ketogenic lifestyle for a while, it might not be a bad thing to go back and look at the nutritional values of the things that you're putting into your mouth. So the inside is really cheesy and it just wrapped all around that onion, all around the green pepper. And <laughs> I had to swallow because my mouth is literally salivating right now. But um, yeah, dig in. Mm. No matter how you slice it, this is a healthy meal and it is a delicious meal and it'll fill you right up. It had the healthy fats in it. It had uh, lots of protein, lots of vitamins, nutrients, and just loaded full of deliciousness. Do me a favor, subscribe to my channel like this video and oh my goodness, I would really love it if you would share Tune it. Tune in next time. I'm not sure what I'll make. Maybe put some uh, comments down below and let me know what sounds good to you and I'll see what I can whip up. While this is finishing up, I'm going to go ahead and get out a pan. Ah, Maggie, hush. <laughs> I have to tell you, my son's on the other side of the table laughing at me because he has this little thing down, but oh, I just don't. LMAO. Okay. So anyway, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe. Turn on your notifications. Turn on your notifications. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, no, I'm not there yet.